Hello guys! In this video, I'm going to share my best setting on my LD player and as well as the NVIDIA control panel setting for playing Android games here in this LD player emulator. This guide is only applicable for NVIDIA graphic card users because in here we are going to tweak some of the settings on the NVIDIA control panel. So here is my laptop which is quite old already. So i7 2.6 gigahertz and I'm using an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti so with computer specs greater than mine then I would say you will benefit a lot from these settings for computers with lower specs than mine maybe you can still try it and see if it works for you The first thing that you need to do is you need to disable the GeForce overlay. So if you have GeForce experience software installed on your PC, then we need to disable that cheat. So to do that, you just need to go to the settings and then general and in here in-game overlay make sure that it's on the left side or disabled number two is that you need to set the graphic settings to high performance in windows to do that you just need to go to the search bar and type graphic settings then click this one so I already have mine set to high performance here. So to do that, in your part, you just need to click browse. And then go to the path where this virtual box handless front end is located. Which is in C program files, LD player box. Okay, so C program files ld player box then this one so you just need to add this then after adding that one click option then high performance select high performance then click save let's just say uh, you were not able to locate it on that folder what you can do is go to the task manager and then click the virtual headless front end this is the uh, background process that's running your ld player so you just need to click right click go to details right click again and then open file location and this is the location where you will need to search for that LDV box headless the third one that you need to do is to tweak settings in NVIDIA control panel so you just need to right click your desktop then click NVIDIA control panel so if you don't have that one in your desktop then I think you, you will need to update your graphic cards so go to the manage 3d settings then click program settings then in here we need to add lay down ld box so if you click add and you just need to search for this again virtual box headless front end 
then add selected program so in here we can now tweak so here are my tweaks image sharpening on then 0.50 an isotropic filtering 2x the rest are off 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 background application max frame rate 200 fps CUDA GPUs use global, low latency, ultra, max frame rate, 120, which is the maximum frame rate of my monitor. Multi-frame sampled of OpenGL rendering GPU, NVIDIA. So, power management mode, this one is very important, prefer maximum performance. Shader catch off. Uh, in some ways, you can also turn this one on. Okay, there are articles online that turning it on uh, somehow reduce stuttering. But, uh, we'll see. In my case, I didn't observe that one. So, texture filtering on, negative load bias, allow, filtering quality, high performance, and then off, 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 off. And that's it. The fourth one is, of course, we now need to tweak settings in LD Player. So, you just need to go to the settings. Uh, this one should match your desktop resolution, which is, in my case, 1080p. I'm using 4 cores. My, my PC has 6 cores, so it's okay for me to use 4. RAM, 1496. Even if you increase this one to, let's say, 8GB, it really doesn't affect anything. So, 4GB is okay. Model, nothing much. So, game settings, uh, only tick support ASTC texture. So, we don't need the V-Sync and also the other things here. We don't need them. And that's it. You save it, then start the application. And here are my Ragnarok X settings for your reference. Resolution, extremely high. Outline, shadow of up 60. Engine quality high. Vision range, medium. Uh, number of players, 10. Near, few. Near, near, medium. And here are the results. Uh, before and after I did that tweak. Uh, before, during boss fight, I only have an FPS of 15 to 22. But the main issue is that there's a lot of stuttering going on. And that results to um, hard to dodge the enemy skills. Therefore, uh, I get die easily. But after that tweak, my FPS is now 22 to 30, which is uh, pretty much decent in an RPG game. And the most important part is that it has a huge reduction in stuttering. So this is just based on my experience. You can try it in your laptop or PC and see how it goes. Thank you and bye-bye.